I have good news for you. The lover of my soul, Jesus, I will never let you go. Love you, I, I love you. I need you, I, I need you. Though mm -hmm. my world may fall, I'll never let you go. Listen, proper. Once upon time, you were a dust. You make as a manufacturer of a vehicle sat down somewhere and gathered your dust. With great care and love, with a special purpose, he breathed his precious breath of life into this your dust and made it what you are. This is what you are. Somebody made it. He has sent his son Jesus Christ to restore and repair you as a mechanic. Any vehicle or any machine without mechanic will wear off and it will collapse even if it has been new. Let's go to Genesis. Chapter 1. Verse 1 to 5. And see what really happened. When it was void. And it was all darkness. You may look at your situation. But your maker made you right from void and from darkness. That is why your situation now, how much dust like it is how much void it is, your maker can make it like what he did to you. Your situation can work again. Your business can breathe again. Your home can be restored again. Your finances can breathe again. To go big Genesis 1 5. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light, and God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Genesis 1, 24 to 28. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its kind, cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth, each according to its kind, and it was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything 
that creeps on the earth according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. When God created the heaven and the earth, the cattle and all the creeping things, he saw that it were good. And he suggested, let us create somebody else. Let him come and see what we are looking at. It is really good. And we have created them, they are good. But who manage? He created you and me to manage his estate. So we are here as managers. Man means manager. Women means we manage. You and the man you manage. To go be the good. So he sent you here as a manager to manage his estate. What is your responsibility in his estate? At the last day, you will be called to give an account of what you managed. You can now imagine how you manage the estate and what account you give to him who sent you. So, brother, sister, when man sinned, 3-7 of Genesis, he became naked. Not naked of clothes, naked of blessings, naked of God's ability, naked of protection. That is why he has sent his son Jesus to put on us a new garment. In his garment, the woman touched the garment. There was healing, blessings, breakthrough, prosperity. That is why we are here today. Genesis 3, 7. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. Now, after God seeing that his managers are naked of peace, naked of ability to manage his estate, naked of ability to multiply, 
Naked of ability to heal their bodies. He sent his son Christ Jesus. 316 of John. For he loved you so much. Now he has sent his son Christ Jesus. That 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 he created may not perish. But have everlasting life, everlasting peace, everlasting prosperity, everlasting breakthrough, everlasting success. What a good Lord who has sent his son to repair us and he clothes us with a better garment. Read it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That he may have everlasting blessings. That he may have everlasting power. He may have everlasting prosperity. Everlasting hope. That he may have everlasting blessings. This is why he is so good. 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 So, uh, for 22, 23, and 24 of uh, Ephesians, his desire is for you to remove the old garment, corruptible, and put on a new garment. Yeah, is your salvation. That you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. God be the glory. Say, I receive you, Christ Jesus, into my life. Jesus, be my master, my savior, forever. Amen. May God bless his words. Clap your hands for the Lord Jesus Christ as we welcome this blessed moment of healing and deliverance. Jesus Christ is the healer and it is by his stripes that we are all healed. Here at the emergency section we've got many people who are agonizing in pain and inability. They've come to the Lord Jesus Christ to restore them, give them back their good health. Let us listen to the ordeal of gentleman who is number one on the line. <laughs> My name is Tumwe Baze Godwin from Wakiso. I was involved in a road traffic accident. For two weeks, I have severe pain. I cannot hold any object. I cannot even help myself to put on shoes. My wife helps me. I cannot even help myself to put on shoes. My wife helps me. I feel so much pain right now. Here is my medical report. Right here on the screen. We are looking at this medical report from Mercy Medical Center. It's a medical report for Mr. Tumweba Godwin. 
Here is where he was attended to. The doctors are informing us that this gentleman sustained soft tissue injuries on the upper arms and also in the mid aspect of the abdomen. So he has got this soft tissue injury which he suffered in a road traffic accident. You can see the various medication he has been given, in spite of which these are now two weeks when he has so, so much pain, such that he has got difficulty in walking, difficulty in sitting for long. That is the agonizing state of Brother Godwin. He has come to the Lord Jesus Christ to receive healing by his own stripes. Right now the man of God is stretching out his hand in prayer for Mr. Godwin. Commanding the name Jesus Christ. The storm of pain in his life is being commanded to come out of him. Be healed. The power of the Lord Jesus Christ has touched him. Watch on the floor he goes. Yeah. Yes. Father, we thank you. We bless the Holy Spirit. Thank you for coming, Christ Jesus. To repair this, what you made. From the dust. Be repaired. David is In Jesus' For the glory of God. Rise up and go. You are free. Hallelujah. Mr. Godwin is rising up very fast. Jesus Christ has healed him. Clap, clap for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Clap, clap for Jesus Christ, the healer. Thank you, Lord. And then, stretch out. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus Christ, the wonderful healer. My name is Chagulani Jackson. From PG. I have so much pain following an operation on my appendix. It's now one week you can see the operation scar. This is my medical report to confirm that I underwent an operation last week. Here on the screen, we're looking at this medical report from MRC Jubilee Medical Center. It's a medical report for Brother Chagulani Jackson. We are being informed that following this diagnosis of acute appendicitis with an abscess, the doctors did appendectomy. They did a surgical operation to remove the infected appendix. He was given some medication after the operation, in spite of which he continues to feel so much pain. Hence, he cannot walk fast. He has got difficulty in bending. You see the agon on the face, proving the pain that he's going through. He has so much difficulty in walking. As you're seeing, he cannot even stand upright. <laughs> In Jesus' name, as a sign for him to take his healing. Hallelujah! 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 He's healed! Look at the gentleman running over against his will. These are things he couldn't do before. Jesus has taken away his pain since lying on the very site of the operation. That was so painful before. Clap, clap for Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for me. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. 